And eight days after the devastating floods in Jammu and Kashmir, the focus is now shifting from rescue to relief and rehabilitation. And the army, which has so far taken the lead in the operations and maintained order in the midst of all the chaos and devastation, will slowly be moving back to their counterinsurgency positions. And the worry is what happens next, especially as the state government's presence seems to be missing. After nearly 10 days, people heading back finally. Over 300 people at Surya Chak were rescued by these boys of the Indian Army, first by boats and then by helicopter, in an operation that took over seven hours. After damage, destruction, some heroic rescue work and selfless relief work, the Army is now falling back. Local NGOs have stepped in, but the state government is still not visible. The only representative of the state government, just two police constables. As the army withdraws, a free-for-all order descends into chaos. The fight is over who gets the relief material. And politics takes over. Political parties and their front organizations make a beeline for the camp. A desperate attempt to claim credit. Not far away, we met this front organization that supports a national political party. Disaster, natural calamity and destruction is also good politics. With camera person Darshan Kumar, Shudhi Ranjan Sen for NDTV.